guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Kingdoms. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm having an awesome day. We're here in uh, Regnum. This is kind of our Roman-inspired uh, kingdom from Season 1, and this is probably kind of the crown jewel of this entire world right now. This is the most complete of all the kingdoms. Um, but we're here because I wanted to, uh, I was thinking after the, after I decided, uh, in between, you know, last episode that I'm going to be making use of the resources and the farms from season one, I figured, you know, there's probably some people who haven't actually seen, who weren't around for season one and don't even know, like, what farms that entails. So I want to kind of start off today's episode by just taking a look at all the various farms that are in this world and kind of showing you uh, what I have. We're not going to do that for the entire episode, but just real quick, I want to kind of give you the round, the rundown, and we're going to start here. Um, also, I do have this lovely storage room, which has lots of stuff. The, the um, guardian farm that we made last episode is ridiculous like we have uh, this is not i haven't actually brought like almost any of the resources over but uh i filled up all the double chests that we put down i added more double chests and almost all of those are filled as well it's so good and that was just basically in the time that i spent editing that video so that's in like a maybe two and a half hours three hours something like that it was ridiculous like the the i don't know what the actual numbers are as far as output but it's a little absurd but anyway i want to get to some of the farms because i really don't want this to take all episode but I, I do think it's important to kind of uh show the people who were not here for season one um what farms exist in this world if i'm going to be making use of them so i want to start right here and this coliseum this lovely Colosseum is actually home to a mob farm. It's a little framey right here because the update, the snapshot that we're in, uh, because I'm playing a snap snapshots, I don't have Optifine, and that means water updates are a little funky. Uh, I am going to pop into spectator mode for this because the only other way is to uh, like dig out the whole farm, and I don't want to do that. So this is our mob farm. If you watched Hermitcraft Season 5... You might recognize this mob farm because it's exactly the same as the one I, I built it first here and then I built it in Hermitcraft. So this is our mob farm. It all goes down to a collection uh, collection system and ultimately brings the drops. Oh, man. Sorry about the framiness, but uh, it'll be fine once we get out of here. Brings it up to here and produces gunpowder and uh, bone meal and, uh, you know, all that kind of good stuff. So that is the first major farm, and that is the only farm in Regnum. There's some other technical builds here, like um, there's a sand to red sand converter, because this block right here in my texture pack, that's red sandstone. Um, so re red sandstone, kind of a pain to get in large quantities. And as you can see, we use quite a bit of it here since it was one of the main building blocks. But for the most part, uh, the only major farm here in Regnum is uh, the mob farm. And it's underneath the Colosseum, kind of hidden down there, which I thought was kind of a fitting and, and cool place for it. Uh, so that's the first major farm. Now, there are plenty of other farms in this world. Um, and a few of them, uh, none of them are right here, but they're not far away. If we head over in this direction, you can kind of follow this road. And this is going to kind of end up being like a pseudo world tour as well. Uh, but if you follow this road, this road will eventually take you to Woodsong. This was kind of our Nordic, like, Skyrim-inspired village. This could, uh, this, we may actually come back to this project at some point. I'd like to add a bunch more houses and make that a lot more grandiose than it is right now. But then the road kind of comes out this way, and eventually you come to, um, Anona, right here. And this is our farming village. Uh, and I believe... I don't think there's any farms here other than an underground sheep farm, and there's some animal pens and stuff like that. But then across the way, this is Solus. This is the City of Light, and this is uh, one of my few regrets from Season 1, is that we didn't finish this in Season 1. So this might also be something we come back to at some point way down the road. I don't know. But um, I, I just love this build style. It's so, like, ugh, I don't know. And there's this grand cathedral there, and it's very, like... Very, very ornamental and highly decorated. But anyway, uh, right over here somewhere, 
there is a slime farm. Yeah, 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 right over here. Uh, so the, it, it goes up to this collection agency. You can see just how amazingly good I am about uh, getting chests and <laughs> putting things away after projects. Uh, but this thing is working. It's not, it, it actually hasn't been loaded for uh, quite a while. I think I finished it and then I basically started season two. So, uh, but yeah, all these, all this stuff. This is just project stuff. Oh, hello, resources. Um, and lots of glass and stuff, too. But it's down... I think it's in the water, actually. Yeah, here's the farm underneath the water. Because there's a... There's, I want to say there's a double or a triple slime chunk right here. And this is a, a an ill mango design, I believe. I'm pretty sure. It uses uh, iron golems, if I remember correctly. I haven't been over here in forever. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, the slimes fall onto magma blocks and then they get killed and collected by the uh, minecarts. They're attracted to the edges by iron golems and it works. So Il Mango slime farm design. So there's the slime farm and there's the uh, uh, the mob farm that we've looked at so far. There's a couple more farms over in Altum, which was the very first kingdom. In Kingdoms, back in Season 1, that was like the initial starting area. <laughs> it was like my starter base and everything. Um, and there, there's a few, there's a handful of farms actually underground uh, that we should probably go peek at. Let's uh, swing over there real quick. It's not far. If we head over in this direction, and I love how everything here in the overworld is all connected up via paths, like in the actual overworld. You can walk all this if you want. But over here's Altum. And in Altum, there's a couple of farms underground as well. If we swing down, let's just land it. There we go. Right in here, we have another wart farm. This is uh, semi-automatic, so press the button and it'll harvest. Because the thing is, you can't automatically replant nether wart. There's no way to do it. There's a chicken farm right here. I'm actually going to take a few of those. And then down here, there is a sugarcane farm. A very small one. I think I may actually revamp this at some point. It works. Uh, this was a chunk loaded area until I, I, I did actually move the spawn point at the start of season one. I moved the spawn chunks. Um, but until that point, this was all chunk loaded. So there's some sugarcane and stuff in here. But that's pretty much it for the major farms in this area. We do have some out kind of by the ender ender as well from season one. So let's head over there. All right, guys, here we are. This is uh, our end portal room from season one. I quite like this, uh, but it's basically in a desert. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's a couple farms that I think lend themselves very well to being in the desert. One of them is a squid farm. Uh, so we do have a squid farm over here. I don't know if it's still working. It might be broken. I was uh, actually AFKing here a little bit earlier today, and it didn't actually fill up, but I like I can hear squids dropping when I go down there to look at the redstone and everything, so I don't need, I, I need to experiment with a little bit more and see if it actually works or not. Uh, but this produces ink sacks, and there's an AFK. It's hidden by a cloud right now, but there's an AFK platform up there. And then there's also over here, a cactus farm. And I think you can actually AFK at the cactus farm or vice versa. Uh, but the cactus farm produces tons and tons and tons of cactus. I actually built this before I knew how to do a, an item elevator. So <laughs> look at this. This is just, it, it's wasting the resources because every single one of these hoppers is filled and they all go into this double chest right here. You know what, in fact, while we're here, Let's just grab a shulker box and let's just fill this whole thing up with cactus just to clear this thing out because this thing is this is a pretty solid cactus farm. I designed this one myself as well uh, and it's based on the vic the video about cactus farms that Exuma did a while ago for him from his uh, myth busting series. I took kind of a bunch of elements of that and designed my own little cactus farm here. And it works pretty well. You can see, though, these hoppers fill up pretty quick. But anyway, so that's pretty much the cactus. That's pretty much the farms. We have a sugarcane farm, a cactus farm, a squid farm, and a slime farm, and a mob farm. And then, of course, we have the, the ender ender, which you guys have already seen, although we designed a new under ender this season. Um, 
And now, of course, we have the Guardian Farm as well. So, let me head over to the Guardian Farm. I have a couple things I want to show you over there, and then we'll get into some other stuff. All right, guys, here we are at the Guardian Farm. First of all, I want to thank you guys for all the, the support and the nice things that you said about last episode. I'm glad that you guys enjoyed it. Um, I know it was a long time <laughs> between Kingdoms episodes, but uh, the number of people who enjoyed that episode and who, uh, who liked it and left nice things to say and everything, I really appreciate it. Um, I'm glad you guys liked it. It made it, uh, made it all worthwhile because there was a lot of time into, this, into that episode specifically, 30 plus hours or whatever it was. But anyway, uh, at the end of that episode, we had put down one, two, three, four, five chests, three rows of five. Those filled up pretty quickly. Um, I think this one had just started to fill up, and I was like, wow, that's crazy. So I added one, two, three, four more chests to each line. Those are also, oh, slideshow. Yep, yep, I'll show you the reasoning for that in a minute. Uh, those basically all filled up as well. So we have a lot of prismarine, which is exactly what we wanted. Because if we're going to use it as a main building block in our new kingdom that we're going to be starting, uh, we're going to need absurd amounts of it. I also did something else. Um, oh, the, the, the framiness. It's so bad here. This is an area where if I'm going to work in here and I'm going to make this thing pretty, I, I'm getting literally three frames per second right now. Please. Please, game. Oh, heavens. I I need... I need to show you the thing, but I can't... We're... we're I'm sorry, guys. Okay, guys. I'm back. I think we're good. I, temporarily, I, I temporarily turned off mob spawning because, well, you, you saw the framiness. And I want to be able to show you this. Um, I'll turn it back on before we leave. So, um, this right here... This is all uh, redone. Well, kind of. Basically, we had multiple rows of these things. Let me just... Uh, oh, there goes a the torch. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, I don't have any torches. But basically, what we had is we had hoppers, and we had one row of hoppers going this way, and then the other one this way, and so on and so forth. And basically, I cut that in half. So now every two rows of hoppers feeds into one dispenser. Uh, I was doing that to try and reduce this horrible framiness that I was showing you... Uh, well, just now, actually. Uh, but it didn't really help. So, oh, I don't have any... I have no wood on me. I don't suppose I have any torches in here, do I? Or sticks? Nope. Okay, well, so much for that. Anyway, uh, I was gonna put another torch up, but that's, that's fine. Um, what happened to the other stone block that was there? It must have fallen into a hopper, which means it's probably destroyed by now. Ah, okay, it's it's okay. We're breaking things, but this is fine. Uh, let's put that back. Grab this, and basically it's all, everything else is the same, but I cut these back to try and reduce the lag. I think it'll be okay uh, once we are out of the snapshots and I actually have Optifine again. Um, I don't know what it is about this snapshot, but I have run into some significant issues with it. Um... To include, when I was building the Guardian Farm, I actually had uh, shulker boxes just, like, disappear randomly. Like, I would break the- I would put them down in the world, I would break them, and they would just vanish. They wouldn't, like, go somewhere where I couldn't see them, they would just literally vanish. So, <laughs> stuff like that. Um, also had some weird crashes. I was using, uh, you know, when I was doing, like, the time lapses and stuff, I had a couple points where um, my, my camera account would just crash and not be able to log back in. Uh, or like, I would log in and then instantly crash again, or weird, just weird stuff. Weird stuff that doesn't normally happen to me. So I don't know if it's just a kind of a buggy snapshot, or, uh, or what. But either way, I do want to do something with this area, though. This is not a good looking place right now. Uh, it's very functional, it works, but it doesn't look very good. And I want to do something about that, um, although maybe not necessarily in today's episode. I'm kind of thinking that, uh... I kind of want to hold off on that until I have a little bit better performance um, in this area, until I have Optifine, essentially. And then we'll maybe come back here and turn this into something much cooler. But for now, what I want to do is load up all my shulker boxes with these uh, Prismarine shards so we can get started on the New Kingdom. 
All right, guys, I'm back. We are uh, back at Bullstone. I brought with me uh, eight shulker boxes of prismarine shards and a full shulker box of ink, uh, shulker box of ink sacks. I also brought some stone and some spruce logs, and we're going to use that stuff for our next big project in our next kingdom, which we're going to be starting in today's episode. Now, the location for this kingdom I've already picked out. It is right over here. And I think this is actually like an amazing location right here. This is gorgeous. This is just, oh man, this, this area inspires me. And I, and you don't always get that in a Minecraft world. Sometimes you don't always look at a landscape and go, wow, this is beautiful. Uh, and that's what I got when I looked here. So, uh, I need to clear out a couple of trees like so, um, please jump. Thank you. And that one's probably going to have to go as well. The rest of them should be fine. I think. Anything over there? No. Good. Okay. So, let's uh, swing over here. And let's throw down our ender chest. Grab a crafting bench. I'm going to just go ahead and make a double chest real quick for just miscellaneous stuff. Actually, this should really be in my ender chest. And then we're gonna craft up our first batch of dark prismarine blocks. These things are absurdly expensive. Really, like I think, I think they're too expensive. All of that for one stack of dark prismarine blocks. Now, each of the wall sections that we're gonna be building which are basically gonna be seven wide. I'm gonna use 24 prismarine blocks. And this wall that we're gonna build is gonna go all the way to over here and then cut across over here and then hang it right here and then come back over here. So yeah, prismarine, we're gonna go through a lot of it for this kingdom, but that's okay. That's why we made the guardian farm. Uh, so let's go ahead and kind of get into this. I think the first thing I want to do is grab some stone and let's just make up a few stacks of stone bricks. And I want our gate, our main entrance to the city to be right about here. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that seems good. And let's just build this up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eh. I'm kind of looking at this and thinking maybe I want to change it. Well, no, because it's going to come out. It's not going to the, the this part of the this is this is going to be the main gate right here, right? Like we'll have this big entrance. This big, really tall and grand entrance, and it's all going to be on a diagonal, which is going to be interesting. Um, but I think we're probably okay like so. Let me check something in my creative testing world real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, I think we're good. I think if we go here and we build this up a ways, this will give us enough space for the gate. And then we'll want to be able we'll, we want to be able to run the walls. Uh, out from the gate. So I actually may want to kind of leapfrog this up to about here instead, because then the wall would kind of cut across about here or so. Maybe even move it up like here. Wall would then cut across like so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think we want our gateway right about here. I also need to sleep real quick. Throw down a bed, take a nap. We want to make. We need to make sure that we're going to get this. Uh, that we get this positioned right, because if we don't, it's going to throw off everything else, and that's going to be bad. So let's kind of go. Um, I don't suppose I can reach that stuff. Well, yeah, I can. Oh, eh, okay. We we've done it. We made it. We're good. And this one, we should just be able to do it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Okay. So. Here's our center point. So we need one here and one there, right? And then this wall would come out like so. That looks good. That's right where we want it. This wall would come out. Yeah, good. 
Okay, so this is where our gate's gonna go. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten for now. We'll probably change that up later. But for now, I'm not gonna actually build the gate right now. We're gonna build uh, the bridge that leads into the gate, but I need to make sure that I have the gate the right size as well, because, I mean, it would be very silly if we had this big fat gate and then the bridge that goes into it is like, not the right size. <laughs> you know, what's the point of having this giant gateway if your door isn't as big? That's just ridiculous. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and we'll do something like that. And how good am I <laughs> with an elytra? That is the question. Not that good. Okay, well, I tried. <laughs> it was worth a shot. Uh, let's go there. There we go. Okay. So now we need our gate. And we want our gateway to kind of come out, I think, like... Basically at this diagonal. Well, that's That's really wide. Um, let's shrink it just a teeny bit So then one two three four five six wide I Really would prefer that to be an odd number Maybe hold on because if we have this coming across like so, our center point is basically like right here. I think this is fine. We can, we can make this work. This will be okay. All right. So then we need to take this and just bring it across at a diagonal until we cross the whole river. Okay, so we've got that done. We've got this night. We'll, we'll uh, tweak this terrain a little bit to make it match up with the bridge better uh, later. We'll worry about that once we actually do the roads. But we now have two nice big lines that go all the way over there, which is exactly what we want. So now the next step is to take more stone brick and basically fill in this layer right here, right? So we're going to kind of do... Get up. There we go. Something kind of along like these lines. And this is actually going to have to go over one more to there. So let's just peel a little bit of this back right now. I'm not going to do... Uh, I really don't want to do a lot of this land... This, uh, this terraforming or landscaping or whatever you want to call it right this second. But we do need to kind of get the, the layout for the bridge figured out. So we'll do something like that. And then I think, let's see, we'll go right here. Yeah, and this would be the last one, right? Because that's the inside. If this comes across, yep, 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 yep. Okay, good. So that one goes there. And then we'll just go like that for the moment. That's fine. This will, we'll tweak this terrain later uh, in more detail and smooth this out and make this look a lot better. But for now, this will do. Okay, so we do something like that. And then we need to take all these stone bricks. And basically, we're just going to kind of go along. Oh, hello, stone brick that I missed when I tore things out. That's fine. Uh, we're just going to kind of go along this edge. And we're going to fill in this bottom part right here. All right, guys, I'm back. And I've got that done. So this part is now all filled in uh, for starters. So now what we want to do is switch to dark prismarine. So let's grab a bit of that. We're probably going to need more of it than we have right now. So let's just make some. There we go. And then can we do this whole thing from here? Hey, maybe. What I want to do is... Oh, man, that's going to be tough. I'm going to need some scaffolding, I think. Um, not that that's the end of the world. We could just probably do something like this. Yeah, that'll be fine. So I want to make a line of dark prismarine kind of going across either side. Um, and then 
after that, what I'm going to do is take another line of stone brick underneath it, and we'll go like so, right? So the effect that it's going to create is kind of like the this line of dark prismarine, uh, essentially is like a highlight block or an uh, or a, a background block, and we may even do something like this. Like every every three or or whatever, put just a stone brick there to kind of break it up a little bit. I don't know. I need to play around with it a little bit though, guys. So let me get to it. All right, guys, I'm back. I've been doing some work. So I got the layer of prismarine in. I got uh, a layer of bricks underneath. I, every three, I went uh, with a brick to kind of break it up a little bit. And then I went ahead and I filled in this bottom layer with Mm, excuse me, hiccups with stone brick as well. Uh, I did that the same on both sides over here. So that's how that goes. And then the top, this is just spruce slabs all the way across. So we now have a pretty decent uh, little like base to kind of work off of, right? Uh, we can take this, cause obviously like this looks okay, but it, it needs some sort of something down in this area. Otherwise that's just not gonna work. Um, so, let's see if we can kind of do that a little bit. Um, let's grab some dark prismarine and some stone brick. There we go. And we will go, let's see, we need to find the middle first of all. So, the center is right here. That should be the exact center of the bridge, I think. If I have done this properly. <laughs> Let's just see. And it's very important we get that right, otherwise everything's gonna be off. Yes. That is correct. Okay, good. So we found the exact center of the bridge right there. Um, I will say that on this side, the bridge is like one block longer because it goes into the hill a little bit. It It's fine. <laughs> it looks just fine. I'm not concerned with it. Uh, okay, so that's all good. Now, what we want to do is take Dark Prismarine and build kind of, um, kind of like a diamond sort of shape here or like a figure eight I guess you would almost call it like so there we go and then we kind of want to bring that up like that there we go and can we reach that not quite now can we yes good 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 okay there we go. So there is one side of the figure eight completed. And then we want to do this one as well. And look at that. We have already gone through one full stack of prismarine blocks. <laughs> Just in making this single little bridge. That's a lot of prismarine we're going to go through. I, it worries me a little bit if I'm being entirely honest. But essentially we've got this prismarine or this dark prismarine pillar like right here, which I think is actually kind of cool. Uh, so now, I want to get rid of this. And what we want to do is get stone bricks and kind of outline it a little bit, I think. Or draw like a like a support around it or a... Uh, essentially, I want the, the... The prismarine is really here for, for decoration more than anything else. It's here for looks, right? Because we want this to look good. And I think the easiest way to do that is get a little splash of color in there. And if this is gonna be the main color for the area, then this is uh, essentially what we wanna do. So we'll do something like that. I'm just gonna kinda build that bit out a little bit as well. There we go. Oh, that one got misplaced. Come back, you. Put you there. And you there. All right. I think that's good. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, let's bring this down like one more. I think at least maybe even two, honestly, because the thing is we need this pillar to kind of come out <laughs> uh, and it, it can't just be a pillar right here. It has to be it has to blend into the rest of the bridge, which might be easier said than done. And then I suppose we could go here. Maybe. I know this looks really weird right now, but that's okay. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Um, yeah. Let's bring this down three. Can I not? Oh, I was standing on a thing before. There we go. Let's bring that down like so. We'll go here. And there. And now it should be symmetrical. Yeah, good. And then what I'm thinking is we'll swing, uh, jump please, there we go, is we'll swing up over here and kind of build this bit out, right? So we'll go like so. And then I'm even thinking that like up here a bit more, we wanna kind of build this bit out a bit. Maybe even further than this, and then here, it will kind of come back, right? So the idea is it's... Hello, squid. Squid, please. So the idea is it's kind of like jutting... Oh, that doesn't look good. Hold on. We need to do one other thing to this in order to get a better feel for if this is a good idea or not. Let's do that. Let's build that bit out one more. And then let's go like so. And now let's look at it. Now. Nope, it's too much. It's too much stone brick. So yeah, this is uh, this is not a good plan. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. This is why we experiment a little bit. It's an easy fix. What we'll just do is take this level back. This will be our new top level right here, right? And then we'll just blend this one in, I think. So, let's see, you would go there. Yeah, 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 that's a bit better. At least I think it will be. <laughs> so many resources falling everywhere, but I think this is going to be much better. Uh, let's get rid of you. Get rid of you. Let's just clean up this whole thing temporarily. Right? Until we kind of know what shape we want this to have. Uh, you are also going to have to get torn down. Can I sneak around? That's our edge, right? Yeah, that's much better. Okay, good. Tell you what, guys, let me mess around with this for a bit. I'll be back in a sec. All right, guys, I am back. I think I have finished the bridge. Um... Yeah, I, I think it's good. Uh, let's take a look at it. If you look at it from a distance, it looks okay. I kind of think this pillar maybe needs to be a little bit fatter. Like, just it just seems a little small. It looks better when you get down here. From down below, it looks better, but uh, looks a lot better, I think. But up the, from up there, it's like. Hmm, I don't know. I'll have to think about it, and let me know what you guys think as well. Do we need to make the pillar bigger? <laughs> uh, basically what we've done, though, is I took a couple, uh, I basically just kind of messed around a little bit with, uh, some of the lines. I did use a couple of, uh, stone stairs as well, and then, uh, we kind of mirrored it a little bit on the bottom and brought it down. So, I think it works. As for the top, 
of the bridge, I kept it real simple. I just went every other block with a stone uh, brick and a cobblestone and just every other one all the way down. But it works. It gets the job done. And that kind of serves as the big bridge that will lead into the main gates. I'm already looking this and uh, looking at this, though, and realizing that our gates are probably going to have to come up to about here. Or maybe we'll even do kind of like a like a cone shape up at the top. That could be kind of cool. I don't know. I want this kingdom to be very kind of high fantasy, not uh, like the 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 castle that we're building on Hermitcraft, which, yes, by the way, that is still happening for those of you who are wondering. I haven't forgotten about my castle over there. Don't worry, we'll get there eventually. Um, but the castle on Hermitcraft is very kind of... Um, it was very inspired by realism, by real castles, and I wanted to kind of make it at least semi-historically accurate. This one, uh, this is going to be a castle town with, you know, walls and fortifications and all that kind of stuff, but I want this town to be very kind of high fantasy, uh, very almost like, um, almost Elven? I hate to use that word because that kind of inspired, that, that kind of like draws up all these images of what Elven architecture is uh, and what Elven kingdoms look like. I don't want this to be the Elven kingdom because I have other plans for an actual Elven kingdom way in the future. Um, but very kind of like organic shapes, flowing lines, um... I don't really know how to explain it, but I have an image in my head and it looks gorgeous. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> anyway, um, I want to jump into the comment of the day, and this is from Peacock Earrings, who says, I'm glad you got your inspiration back, but sad that the Mesoamerican area isn't going to be worked on. I was really excited to see something in a jungle that wasn't a treehouse. Um, so yeah, the, the Mesoamerican kingdom, we talked a little bit about this at the end, of, or actually, I think towards the beginning of last episode. Um... I have not given up on the Mesoamerican kingdom entirely. I'm not going to just, like, abandon it forever. Well, I, I mean, I suppose it's possible I might just abandon it forever, but I don't plan to just abandon it forever. I do have a nasty habit of not picking projects back up again, though, after I put them down. Um, but I haven't. Pl I don't plan to just completely abandon the Mesoamerican kingdom. I do want to return to it someday, but I need a break from it. I just need... My brain, like, needs to think about other things. <laughs> uh, and when I get my inspiration going for that area again, then we'll return there and we'll do stuff. Just like, that's the beauty of having a continuous single-player world like Kingdoms, is that, uh, you know, if you need a break from a project for a while, you can go do something else, and you can always return to it at any, at any time. Even if it's four years later, you could still return to a previous project, and honestly... Although this world isn't four years old, uh, we might end up returning to some of those projects this season. Some of the stuff from last season that we didn't finish off, like Solus, for example, the City of Light that I showed you at the beginning of this video. But anyway, guys, I am out of time for this episode, unfortunately, so I do have to call this one right here. We got the bridge built. The bridge that leads to our new kingdom. The bridge to New Horizons. My friends, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Zombie! It's not an authorized hangout location. You, you can't loiter there. <sighs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.